Hi, this is Florian with another stop of Tour de Animate. Animated characters are entertaining, fun, and can be used to enhance storytelling and convey messages more emotionally to the viewers. But what animation techniques can I use? One technique for the whole character, or do I need several? Well, in this recipe, you will learn how animated walking sequences can be created using several different techniques and tweening types. So let's have a look at the final result in the browser. As we can see here, we have our character named Peter, who's walking here. And we can see that we have several different parts that are being animated. Uh, first of all, we have the upper body section and the head that is bobbing up and down. We have the uh, two arms that are swinging back and forth. And we have the two legs below and the shadow that are moving as well. So let's jump into Animate CC and see how things are set up. So here we can see that we have our uh, character Peter already placed on the main stage. So if we double click into the symbol, um, we can see that the character has been split up into different layers. Um, it was split up into the layers that we want to be animating. So um, the topmost layer is called arm front. And uh, when you select the bone tool, you can see that there is this um, skeleton or uh, bone structure uh, underneath. And uh, when you grab uh, one of the joints here, you can see that you can move the arm around and uh, the skeleton will uh, move below uh, while it sticks here to the shoulder. So this inverse kinematic setup gives you the opportunity to move the arm uh, in a way that uh, a real arm would move. So let me just reset this to the starting pose. And you can see in a timeline that we have keyframes for all the different poses of the arm. And so both arms, arm front and arm back, uh, are moving accordingly. Uh, next is the body layer. And you can see that it is animated using a classic tween. Um, the classic tween is uh, especially uh, suitable for this kind of animation because the body section is just bobbing up and down. So um, for such a simple animation, the classic tween is the way to go. Other than that, we have the two leg layers and the shadow layer below. And um, we can see that uh, they were created using shape tweens. Now, the reason we're using uh, shape tweens for the legs, uh, if, we can, if we click on the uh, leg here, we can see that it has been created using a simple stroke. So we get this rubber hose kind of look. And since we want to preserve this look throughout the animation, um, you can use uh, shape tweens. So the shape stays the same and you just uh, bend the stroke to create the different poses. And apart from that, we also uh, can see that there are shape hints, the so-called shape hints, which let you define uh, the way the shape tween will animate between two keyframes. So you can tell Animate CC exactly how you want the animation of the shape tween to look. And other than that, we uh, have the shadow below, which also uh, is created using a shape tween between these two uh, basic uh, dimensions here, which follow the dimension of the character to give it a little more contact to the floor. Okay, so as you can see, there are several ways to set your character in motion in Animate CC. Feel free to explore the project, play around with different methods, and use them to get creative in your own projects. Make sure to check out all the other free samples on tourdeanimate.com as well. All of them, including this one, are free to download and reuse, even in commercial projects. So have fun with this recipe and happy animating.